And, you know, we were able to see some uh, with all of us being, or I should say most of us being unexperienced stargazers, giving us a great view of the moon rise from late last night as the clouds slowly started to peel their way out of our area. Of course, a few of those clouds still lingering over our heads as we take a live look out over downtown Portland on this Friday afternoon. Temperatures holding steady into the mid 60s and we're expecting to break down that cloud coverage for the rest of this afternoon and eventually into the evening with our winds right now out of the west at about eight. Now we are quickly coming up on the tail end of the summer season as the autumnal equinox arrives Sunday at 543. So go ahead and set your alarm so you can celebrate right on the dot as some of the trees are already starting to celebrate with their fall foliage over the metro area already. We got some of the Japanese maples and some of the sweet gum trees starting to shed their color of green. Now over the next week we do anticipate that a lot of our trees are going to start to show some signs of fall foliage, especially through the I-5 quarter over the high train, the Cascades. Some of the higher elevations around the Three Sisters Peaks could near the peak fall foliage within the next seven days. That's because higher altitudes are slightly cooler. But this is just the beginning of that slippery slope of cooler temperatures. By the start of autumn, 75 degrees is that average daytime high and 53 is the overnight low. But once we fast forward into early November, we're talking about highs in the 50s and then eventually the 40s for the tail end of December. So we are quickly approaching the cooler months as our skies remain cloud free for the most part today and that's going to be a picture perfect evening for many of the Friday night football games across the area by about halftime sliding back into the low 60s so maybe just pack the light jacket this evening sunny conditions that's what we are in right now as a ridge of high pressure starts to build just off the coastline that's going to be our warming mechanism this weekend the start of next week this is a very similar setup to what brought us the triple digit heat back during the summer months Keep in mind, we're at the very tail end of September, so we won't be seeing triple digit numbers, but highs well above the average, putting us in the mid to upper 80s. So we'll time it all out for you with just a few lingering clouds as we work our way through the rest of the weekend. As we wake up or on Saturday, we'll get a little bit more of that sunshine by the afternoon before another cloud deck moves in for Sunday, and it's going to be sitting overhead for much of the day. But today, here in the city, 71 degrees, that's our end goal as we enjoy the sunshine and winds out of the north northwest at about three to six tonight. Just a few lingering clouds, but mild and it will be feeling in the low 50s by the start of the day tomorrow. Our seven day forecast does show this dry stretch of weather taking us through the weekend, but you'll notice those temperatures climbing close to 80 degrees for the first official day of autumn on Sunday. Now it's not until Tuesday that we break apart some of those clouds and we really push our temperatures. Some of us maybe even close to 90 degrees in some locations further south along the valley, but 87 in Portland before the rain showers once again return and that will help to cool us back into the mid 70s by Thursday. So we've got a chance for some wet weather that will put an end to that a very brief summer stretch of weather mm -hmm. and the first few days of autumn. Yeah, I mowed our lawn at yeah. like nine last night because it was getting out of control. And I looked at the forecast and like, well, this isn't going to get better anytime. Soon. No, no. So. <laughs> at, at the evening time, great time to, to do yes, the lawn work. Yes, that's what I thought. Okay, we'll be right back. Stick around.